Two professionals, either Roth or Holman, depending upon who wins the match, will become the leading money winner here in 1979. If Holman does not strike on this ball, the only thing we have to look forward to is to see if Roth can get the perfect game. He will win the tournament if Holman doesn't strike on this ball. There it is. The tournament has been decided. Holman can possibly shoot 237. It's not going to be enough. Roth has the tournament in his bag. The only thing he has to go for, and it's a tremendous thing, is a perfect game. Nobody has ever rolled one in the position round, the final match. The last one being in 1974 by Jim Stefanich in Alameda, California. Spare in the night frame for Marshall Holman, a winner or two weeks ago at Grand Prairie, Texas at the Forum. The Quaker State Open and now Mark Roth, ninth frame, eight in a row. The ball speaks for itself. The picture is there, just stuffed ten in the pit. Three more times, he'll have done what no man has ever done in 18 years in a pro bowlers tour, 300 in the final game of a professional bowlers tournament on national television. All but the six, ending the string at nine. Much appreciated. Jubilant Mark Roth has a shot for 279. Here's the ball that went a little high. He got a little too much turn. He knew it when he let go. He needed a break. You know, in every 300 game, Chris, you need a break. Roth mm -hmm. threw nine excellent, perfect shots. Could not get that one break. I believe if he had carried a, a nosedive and got lucky there, he'd have stuffed the last two for 300. But once again, the tournament's leader has lost six weeks in a row. Awesome. A powerful 279 by the bowler of the year. Mark Roth against Marshall Holman, who opened up with four in a row. Second time Roth has won uh, this Royal Aids term. It's not very often a player comes back and wins on the same house, the same pair, two or three years later. It's a tribute to his t great talent and his consistency. Marshall Holman, nothing to be embarrassed about. Bolt sensationally well, but the tournament leader just does not seem to be able to win this year. Marshall Holman's going to bowl 227 with a spare. Still a terrific game, and he congratulates the winner, Mark Roth, who shot a powerful 279 with nine strikes in a row, 10 total. Harry, did you see? There's that powerful final score, Mark Roth, 279, Marshall Holman, 227, in their continuing saga, head-to-head -head competition. 15,000 to Mark Roth. He is the not only bowler of the year the last two years, but now the leading money winner. And Bert Page, who is vice president of sales for American Chickle Company, as this is the Roll Aids Open, has a most unusual trophy. Bert? Well, delighted, Chris and Mark. Fantastic. It was wonderful to watch this Battle of the Titans. And on behalf of the American Chickle Division of Warner Lambert and the Pro Bowlers Association, it's a delight to give you this plaque and this check for first prize in the $100,000 Roll Aids Open. Congratulations. Thank you, Bert. I'd like to thank American Chickle and uh, everybody here at Dick Webber Lanes. It's been a super week, and uh, I just love this house. I have the first one. This makes a pair now. Book ends. <laughs> uh, Mark, you started bowling when you were 11 years old. What did you shoot your first game? 58. Quite a change to a 279. Nice going. Thank you. Thank you, Bert. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have the final score now, and the Roll Aids Open winner is powerful Mark Roth. And it was... 279 to 227. Once again, the winner is Mark Roth. Our next stop on the Pro Bowlers Tour is the $90,000 Dutch Masters Open. That's a week from today at 3.30 Eastern and Pacific, 2.30 Central. The executive producer of ABC Sports is Rune Arledge. Senior producer of the Pro Bowlers Tour is Chuck Howard. Today's coverage was produced by 
Dick Buffington. Directed by Roger Goodman. Technical director, Bob Bernthal. Associate director, Larry Cavallina. Now this is Chris Shankle, along with Nelson Burton Jr. saying so long from Florissant, Missouri, and inviting you to stay tuned for ABC's Wide World of Sports. Coming up next, featuring World Cup gymnastics from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and the Great Pool Shootout, Part 1 of 1979, Willie Moscone and Minnesota Fats. Travel arrangements made through in a promotional fee paid by United Airlines. United built the largest airline in the free world around you. Bowlers Tour. This ABC Sports exclusive has been brought to you by Light Beer. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. By Dutch Master Cigars. There really are masters at Dutch Masters. And by Firestone, makers of the 721 steel belted radio. In 74 years, Firestone has never built a tire in which they've had more confidence.